Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. Now, this episode, as you can probably tell by the title and hopefully the thumbnail, is not going to be at my base. Oh, I typed the wrong command. It's not going to be at my base because we're doing a challenge video, or at least an announcement for the challenge. Um, so, if you want to participate, you join the server, uh, link to the Discord is in the description, and then you'll get the IP address there. Um, so, we're in the All The Mod 6 mod pack on the server, there's a few people on. You'll go to spawn, so you'll spawn on that little podium over there. You'll run over here, and there's some fancy signs. Welcome to the challenge bridge. Simply walk into the active portal. So at the moment, this is the active portal, but as you can see, plans for other, um, you know, challenges in the future. So you'll simply walk here, jump up, whoop, you'll fly through. As you see there, it teleported me back to the spawn podium, but it's just a little buggy. So give it a few seconds, and you should hopefully appear on this platform here. So you'll get flung out of the portal, and then you can walk over here. Um, I haven't actually changed this sign. I should probably do that. Um, farm challenge. Boom. Farm challenge. That's what we're doing. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what I mean by that. And so I guess it's up to you guys to interpret it. Right? Um, I, I'm going to need a lot of help from, from the viewers here and, and the people on the server. Because I don't really know what people want out of these challenges. I, all I know is people want challenges. Right? And me included, I, I, I like these challenges, I like seeing what people build and what they have. Um, so you guys, I, I, I guess I'll see here, I, I want you guys to all come and participate and create what you want, right? Like what you want out of the challenge. So if you want the challenge to be that you design something that looks beautiful, so you like design a really fancy farm with like, I don't know, a windmill and stuff and, and make it just look beautiful and not be too functional, th then do that. And if I notice that everyone's doing that, that's what we'll base them on, right? But if you want to come in here and set up, like, uh, rats from the rats mod to do your farming and they, like, put it into some system and it goes through tubes and, you know, all, all that sort of, like, functional aspect, then do that too, right? So I I'm thinking just by looking at people's bases off, off camera, um, we have a big mix of, like, fancy builders who build these, like, big castles and stuff and then just technical builders who just... They, they still live in, like, a hole in the ground uh, and have, like, an open concept base. So, I'm excited to see what people do. So, I, however, am not good at making things look pretty, as you can see by our very basic platform we have here. Um, but, however, I have made some things in my... in my sing Well, I say single-player playthrough. I play on the server, but by myself. So, I guess it sort of is single-player. What is that? Oh, nothing. Um... So what, what you want to do is... Uh, I lost my train of thought there, but hopefully you guys are sticking with me. New, new train of thought. You come through the portal, you read these signs, you go, oh, we're doing the farm challenge. Then you look around and you try and find an empty plot of land. So right here, you can see it's the wilderness. You can look at your map as well. So uh, open your inventory. In the top left, FTB chunks, this little map icon. Click on that. And you can see what lands are claimed. So here's the spawn island. This is all claimed by me. You can see this little pathway is claimed by me, but these chunks are not claimed yet. Um, so what you want to do is then in the top left again, there's now this claim chunks icon. It's the same map icon as the as before, but now it says claim chunks. You click on that and you get this new screen and simply find which chunk you want and left click and it will claim it. So now this chunk's mine, which means when you show up, this chunk will be claimed by mine and you can go to the next one or one over here. And you know, as we get more than six people participating, I'll hopefully expand this out and we'll have, uh, you know, more people able to join in. Uh, but for now, just a nice little small platform. So, make sure you claim your chunk, because, you know, it, it's at spawn, and it's accessible uh, from spawn, so, you know, you might you might have people joining for the first time, and they might just, I don't know, run over here and, ah, uh, break things, even though we do not allow that. So, don't do that, even if they aren't claimed. But, you know, try and claim it, just so that we don't have to deal with that issue. And then, you're free to, within, within your claim... Try not to claim multiple uh, chunks because then it's just a little bit awkward, you know. Th then it turns out you're just making your own base as opposed to, you know, a challenge. Um, but we can definitely do bigger um, challenge zones in the future. Like, if this turns out to not be enough room, we can definitely, you know, give people more, more space. Um, but it's the first challenge. Go easy on me, okay? And then, once, once people have left your zone so that you can concentrate... Um, get building, right? So I'm going to essentially recreate exactly what I have in my single player world. 
Now, obviously, I'm in... Well, I say single-player world. In my um, single-player playthrough on the server. It's, it's very confusing. All you need to know is get to this location and build your thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to recreate the farm that I just recently built using pedestals because I don't think anyone else is using pedestals. They might be. Um, but I think it's really cool. It, it's a unique mod and... I want to build my pedestal farm and then see what other types of farms people build. So once again, you don't have to make it functional. You can just make a, a pretty farm, you know, have like a water a waterfall that you've built and stuff. And I, will, I won't destroy this part of the base, uh, this part of the spawn. So I won't like, you know, wipe your structure that you spent hours making. Um, I'll try and get backups of this area just in case it does corrupt. Because, you know, we're playing on a big mod pack, so if there are issues, I do apologize. But, I, I mean, the same issue could happen at your base anyway. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let me try and recreate the farm I made. Um, now, this is a pretty big plot of land, so I might actually be able to make it look nice as well. So, let's go ahead and make our 9x9. Nine nine. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. Now, because we're in a chunk, um, they're not... Uh, well, they are symmetrical, but they're even, right? So if I press F3 and G, you can see the chunk borders here. Look at this. This is the middle of the chunk. And you can't, you can't place a block in the... You, which means my 9x9 nine nine farm won't work. Unless, unless we just do a, just do a little smaller farm. You know, it, it doesn't have to be a 9x9. Nine nine. And, and I guess that's the beauty of this challenge, you know? A more efficient farm would be 9x9, nine nine, but a much more beautiful farm might just be... What, what, what is this? Is this an 8x8? Eight eight? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. There we go. That works. Ooh. How am I going to do the water now? <laughs> ah, how am I going to do the water? Hmm. You know what I could actually do now? Now I could have no hole in the middle. Because I'm pretty sure if I place water here, which I might just block off quickly so that, you know, I don't... If someone else had a build there, I don't want to pour my water in there. What I might do is maybe I'll build walls in between these as well. Just in case that does happen, like someone pours water into someone else's claim. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out. Once again, you know, it's our first challenge. Take it easy on me. <laughs> um, if I place water here, I believe I can water all of these bits of... Um, Farm, or, or dirt, yeah, farm, yeah, it is farmland, um, which means if I also have water on this side, I can do it with these, right? So we can essentially water this entire plot of land without having to have like a hole in the middle, yeah, look at that. Okay, we, we, we can actually make our place look pretty good and have like a little moat going around it. How's that sound? I reckon that sounds pretty good. Um, this is going to be, you know... I guess relaxed building where I'm in creative mode, you know. Um, obviously, you guys aren't in creative mode. I'm, I'm the I'm the cheating YouTuber. I'm allowed to be in creative mode, even though I don't do it in my playthrough. I promise. I do all the all the mining on camera. <laughs> it's horrific. Um, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. I do try to play as legit as possible in uh, my playthrough, and I, I've had comments saying that the fact that I don't do those um. You know, big cuts where they come back and they've got, you know, all the stuffs and the things. Um, people say that's why they enjoy me, so I, I, I try to stick to that. Here we go. <laughs> I say as I'm in creative mode, uh, <laughs> farming all this, but it, it, this is different. This is different. Isn't it? I think it is. T to be fair, I don't know if I'd take the time to, to do it. Uh, I guess I probably would. It wouldn't look as good, though. It wouldn't look as good. It would probably just be functional. Hmm, how am I going to do this now? Um, I, I've, I've brought all of my stuff over that I should need in order to build this, um, this structure. You know what I should have done? I should have done this further up because I need to build stuff underneath. And because we're floating, I can't really do that. Well, I guess I can. I guess I can. You know what? We'll go underneath. Now, if you do go underneath, make sure you don't, like, there's a few of these, uh, feral flare lanterns around. I might move them if they start getting stolen <laughs> but I don't know just work around them it should be fine it's, it's mainly to keep this uh, this island lit up um, how am I going to do this because I need my pedestals to be underneath this farmland do I break the, the platform or do I set a rule where you're not allowed to break the, uh, break the platform oh, I should have thought about this <laughs> I did not think about this 
Let this be a lesson to think about stuff. You know what? I guess it's fine. You can break the platform. As long as you're within the chunk. It, if you really want to put the effort in and dig down to bedrock, be my guest. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, let's go under here. This is like roughly the middle here. Yeah, so this should work. Okay. I am going to build a little platform for me to build my stuff on. This, this is horrific. Why did I do this? Oh, well. Um, I do want to be up a little bit. Like here. This looks pretty good. Hmm. I, I'm starting to reconsider whether I want to break the platform. Or whether I want to just move the farm up. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Alright. I'm going to place my pedestal, I think, here. This is going to be my harvester. So I'm actually going to put that in. Locked and loaded, ready. The pedestal upgrade is in. We're going to then destroy that item. So now this will harvest in a... Oh, yeah, let's see if I can... Uh, uh, boop. This will harvest in a 9 by 3 by 9 ra uh, radius. So I might actually need to move this up a bit. Because what that means is it will mine um, this level around it, the one above that, and then a, the one above that. So as you can see, that's not the level we want. So I think we actually want this to be in the ground. As in, in this blue bit right here. I think that's what we want. So let's go up here and place it there. I think that's where we want it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So that's going to harvest all of the crops when they're done. Now, we also need a magnet. Which is also in a 3 by... Um, an 11 by 3 by 11 ratio. Uh, ratio? Area. So this again needs to be, you know, pretty close to where the crops are. So I think it'll be fine if it's just underneath it. I don't even remember how I have it set up at my base, to be honest. I think that's good, though. I think that's fine. Then, we need a planter. And this is in a 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. So, th so this can be, like, at the bottom of the ocean. Well, maybe not at the bottom, but, you know, it can be a bit lower. Oh, server is done 30 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. Since I'm cheating stuff in, it should be a lot quicker. So that's the planter done. So the magnet and the planter are done. Perfect. Um, then we have an item filter and a filtered import. And if I'm honest, I don't really remember how I had this stuff set up. I, I, you know what? I think I do. We have a pedestal here with a chest underneath. Um, I'm also going to need my linking tool, which I don't have. I should have brought that. Or do I have it? No, I don't have it. <laughs> linking tool from pedestals. Here we go. Linking tool. Um, so what I want to do for this guy is say, you receive... Oh, actually, no, no, no. Wait, I take that back. I take that back. Um, I want to place a pedestal here as well with a hopper going in there. So, harvester, magnet to pick up the dropped items, and a planter to plant the plants. That's Those are the functional things we need, right? Then what we have is we have it so the um, magnet sends it to this guy. Oh, I didn't want that. Let's, um... Oh, no. Let's break both of these since they have nothing on them. Uh, boom. Boom. Alright, so. Shift right click on the one that you want to receive things. So, I want this guy to receive all the items from the magnet. So, I'm going to shift right click. Then, I'm going to shift right click on the one that's sending it. So, the magnet is sending it to that. So, now I shift right click here. And it says, link successful. Perfect. So, now any item that this guy picks up will go in here. And then, because there's a hopper underneath it, it will get put into this chest. Next up we want to put our filtered import on this pedestal. Now, what this does is it means this pedestal will only export and only send items from this chest if it's going into a filtered um, pedestal. And that will come into play when we place down this next pedestal, which will be... Um, how, how do I have it? I think I have a chest here. No, we need to go down another one. I have a chest here, with a pedestal on it, and then an item cable like so. And we're also going to need a um, a wrench from Cyclic. And that is going to extract there. So I right click the bottom, and then that extracts. And this is a, also a Cyclic item cable, if, you, if you're following on and, and building this at home. Um, so now, this pedestal, <laughs> hopefully you're following along. There's a lot going on. We put an item filter in, right? So what that does is it will look in the inventory below it, so this chest, and whatever item is in here is the only item that this pedestal will receive. So I'm going to put wheat seeds in here, which means only wheat seeds can be sent to this pedestal. 
And then, when it gets sent, when it gets sent wheat seeds, I struggled with that sentence. There's lots of s's. So when this pedestal gets sent wheat seeds, it will then get outputted by this um this guy. What do you call it? <laughs> the um item kill. Actually, I don't think I even need this. Right? Can I get rid of that? I think I can just send items. Okay, okay. Let's give this a shot. Essentially, this guy's going to get sent wheat, wheat seeds, and then it's going to send it to the planter. That's the that that's the theory here. So, oh, how did I do that? Um, I want this guy to be receiving. So, I shift right click him from this guy who's going to be sending. So, I shift right click him. Link successful. Then I want the planter to be receiving from this guy. Link successful. I believe that is now set up. <laughs> Shall we um? Shall we give it a shot? Let's go up and... Mm, I guess we don't even need to plant our, our farm. I think what I can do is just right click here. So I've put my seeds into this guy. And as you can hear, it is planting. And judging by the distance, I think it's good. Here it goes. Now, it skipped a block there. I don't know why. Does it get? Oh, it gets that part. Okay. It is missing some. I assume that might just be server related. I'm not sure why it wouldn't place it in this spot. Or these spots. Very interesting. It could be that it doesn't have enough seeds. I don't think that's why. Let's give it some more. No, I think it has plenty of seeds. Right, I'm not sure why it's not planting them on these random bits. Um, I'm going to assume it's just like, I don't know, lag related. Um, but either way, this should be fine. Um, we can test it out, actually, with some bone meal. Bone meal. Here we go. So, oop, boom. Oop, try not to harvest it myself. But when it's harvested... Oop, in fact, even when it's harvested and I don't pick it up, it should be getting picked up, which you can see it is. It's picking stuff up. It's harvesting stuff. That's looking pretty good. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Let me uh, destroy this extra cheatsy weed. Weed? Wheat. <laughs> Wheat, I swear. <laughs> Please. Okay. So there we go. A successful working farm. Um, if you want the wheat, I guess I could probably um, replicate this guy. So I'm going to control middle click to copy it with the, um, uh, the upgrade on it. And then I can... Um, Hmm. Perhaps just have it go here. Let's see if this works. So I want this guy to be receiving from this guy. Is this enough range? Is it close enough? It says link successful, so I'm going to guess it is. Um, so let me get rid of this guy. Take the seeds off. I'm then going to place a chest. You know what? I'm going to move it so that the chest is up. We're going to place those in the center. I've got this. I've got this. Everyone remain calm. Remain perfectly calm. Boom. 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 So I moved it on the chest because, remember, it has to, um... What do you call it? Have the item underneath the chest. What, what did I just say? It has to have the item that it's filtering in the chest below it, is what I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted by a brain fart. Here we go. Let's grab the wheat. Boom, boom, boom. Let's also make sure that it's linked. So, oh, go up here. Shift right click. Um, we can also put the wheat in here to have it bookmarked. Go down here. Shift right click. They're linked. Perfect. Let's see. Has it worked already? It's worked already. We've got wheat on it. So, you can take the wheat off. You can put it in here. Um, once this grows a bit more, if I can grab some more bone meal, I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of it. Boom, boom, boom. The wheat gets taken up, and we should see it pop up in here. There it is! How cool is that? A fully automated farm. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, how can we make this look a bit better now? <laughs> you know, just to get some brownie points. Maybe, I don't know, if we make this grass, it'll spread eventually, right? Is that how it works? I'll just help it by placing, you know, a few every so often. But this will spread. <laughs> Hopefully. Or else it'll just look even uglier. <laughs> this looks pretty good. What are we thinking? A, a job well done. 
Alright. You guys, you gotta come over here and you gotta show me how it's done. Okay? I wanna see you make a farm that it doesn't have to be functional. It doesn't have to be automated. It can look really cool. It can look <laughs> not as cool. Um, but yeah. I guess it's up to you guys now. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this concept. Um, I guess in a week, maybe we'll come back and check it out. We'll, we'll see how quickly people get things built and how many people get, uh, how many people build things. Um, oh, let me try and get rid of these borders. So yeah. Once again, to get here, it's just at spawn. Oh. You should spawn here when you type slash spawn. You'll be like, boop, boop, boop. slash spawn. You drop down here, run forward. And here it is, the bridge. Ooh, the bridge. And then you simply walk in here. You might bug out and teleport around a little bit, but you should end up right here. Um, if for some reason this isn't working for you, this teleporter, um, if you look at the map, oh, you, you can swim here. I think there's boats in this boat over here. If I mean, if you really want to do that, you can, if the teleporter isn't working. I can probably also set up a slash warp. I don't know if I can, but if for some reason this teleporter doesn't work. We can do that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, if well, I said like three words at once there. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. There'll be plenty more modded Minecraft content coming at you in the future. And I think that's it. Oh, there's a ravine down there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.